Come, knave, I'd hear the balance of thy tale. Inside thy car didst thou detect some trace by villains left who deprived it of goods? No ghost of guilt, identity betrayed by careless thieves who covered not their tracks? I found a document so roughly writ, it troubled me to make good sense of it. Of school days, friendship, childhood innocence. A paper writ in study by some churl, of youth not born under a rhyming planet. Twas lesser verse composed and badly hewn, concerned the king of France and purchased land. And though I am a weakish speller, I detected errors marked throughout in hand. Of school, master despaired in ink so red, at first the knave had thought that he had bled. In faith, I will examine me this text, and see if by its hand its makers traced. Hark, here's the name of its rude author, one Lawrence Sellers, living in the north. He dwelleth near a tavern in and out, reputed for the searing of beefsteak. Those be fine beefsteaks, Walter. Hold thy tongue, Donald, I've not said all. The varlet is a youth whose father stands a titan in the world of hired players, a playwright. Arthur Digby Sellers called, his plays renowned throughout the continent, bulk of the series knave and no lightweight. How tragic that his son doth prove a dunce. And north we proceed, once concluded, be the merriment of this performance piece. Then might we dine on beefsteaks in and out? Hold thy tongue, Donald, I pray thee. Thou art a great eater of beef, and I believe that does harm to thy wit. Yea, we shall brace the kid, he shall be o'er-pushed with certitude. We shall take what monies he hath not spent, and yea, we shall be near the place of good repute, to feast on beefsteaks, have some ales and merry jests. Our troubles be over, knave. Alack, regard this finest car without. The child hath spent the bulk of my money on yon conveyance like a corvette ship to sail on simpler waters than I swim. Not so. The vehicle's but three or four percent of all thy gains the villain sees, dependent on the trappings. Donald, hold. We'll speak with young Lawrence and circle swift. Ho, oh, Squire Lawrence! Reveal thyself and chat. Thy father suffers problems with his health, and writes no more. A shame on it, say I, for on a personal level his works were muse to me. I was a man to love the early episodes birthed of his quill. Thou art a writer, Lawrence, as I've read, though one of orthography corrected. Thou art a lad of years mayhap fifteen, at once a lad and coming to a man whose wise I trust to welcome not the law, constabulary actions being harsh. Is this thy parchment, Lawrence? Tell me true. Is this thy parchment, Lawrence? Tell me plain. Be quick, Sir Walter. Ask if Chattel's bought. Ask if that fine corvette without be his. Is this thy parchment, Lawrence? Homework thine? We know that well, Sir Walter. His it be. Whither the money, varlet? Mewling spawn. Demand him nothing. What we know, we know. From this time forth he never will speak word. Hark, Lawrence, hast thou studied of a place of orient jungles? Walter, prithee nay. Youth, thou art entering a world of pain. We know this document is homework thine, and that thou stealest cars. And monies, too. And monies, and this is thy homework, boy. Wherefore silence? What impudence is this? Thou art killing thy father, Lawrence. Oh, this hath no end. He never will speak word. I take thy parchment back and turn to plans of secondary contingents. Look well. Behold thy car, the corvette, crimson stained, and see what befall sinners evermore! <laughs> this befalleth when thou first a stranger twixt the buttocks, Lawrence! Understands thou? Dost thou attend me? Seest thou what happens, Lawrence? Seest thou what happens, Lawrence? Seest thou what happens, Lawrence, when thou first a stranger twixt the buttocks? This is what befalleth, Lawrence! This is what befalleth, Lawrence! What hast thou wrought, thou wraith of province strange? The corvette be my purchase yesterweek. Alas, my car, admired baby mine. My car hath shuffled off this mortal coil. Mary, an honest blunder, I never knew it thine. I maketh thee shuffle off this mortal coil, man. Nay, I'll be revenge and proper recompense, suiting the punishment to the action. The action to the punishment, I'll maketh thy car shuffle off this mortal coil. <laughs> No, thou hast trespassed wrongly. That be not Sir Walter's conveyance, but mine own. I maketh thy car to shuffle off this mortal coil. I maketh thy cursed car to shuffle off this mortal coil. Faith, 
I sit within and cringe in fear. What fools these mortals be that tarry here? Oh.